יעקב אגם, שלום. שלום וברכה. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you for inviting me. Actually, יעקב, we are your guests, because behind you is a wonderful new creation. Will you be kind enough to tell us about it? The building, you see, I tried to uh, eliminate the aggression of, uh, of the building, which has black holes and white surface and, uh, uh, and uh, create a kind of a visual aggression. In those buildings, everything is uh, soft with movement of color and rainbow. And uh, by, by the side, people live inside the rainbow, which reminds that we are all connected to the Almighty with an agreement through the rainbow. And it is so beautiful. And you told me just before our conversation that it was even recognized by the Guinness Book of Records as the biggest artwork in the world. Yes. So, yeah. congratulations. Thank you very much, because I tried to, to give uh, on the building an artwork with the playing of uh, a composer. I've seen it and said, oh, I could play it in like a partition, because uh, you have color moving and changing, uh, going up and down, and uh, it's... Uh, Uh, the music is the art of changing uh, uh, sound in time, I change them in uh, color and rhythm and shapes. But the, the, the most important uh, which I strive to express in my art is the real Jewish aspect toward art and reality. You see, all the works in the world, everywhere, is based on the concept of maintaining and keeping the present. What you see in a work of art is something that happened and will stay the same forever. And by the way, in Hebrew, the word present doesn't exist. We have no present. The term present grammatically doesn't exist and doesn't exist as a value because we have Yehovah, which means constant change. And the first commandment said, don't, grave, don't make grave an image. So the Hebrew concept of reality means, needs another form that will express the Jewish aspect. What will express instead of Rome, Athens, Egypt and other culture, a specific Jewish aspect to life and reality. And that's very different because we have no present, we have always a becoming. And that's what teach, I teach me, Moshe Sharet, when I was a boy, we were prisoned by the British, and he told me, Yaakov, there is no present in Hebrew, en hove bivrit. Moshe Sharet, the former prime minister and foreign minister of and, Israel. And, and he, and it took me many years, and said, kol adam shutaf bemaseh bereshit. Everybody participate in the creation. Uh -huh. And it took me years, and then I, it took me to understand when I came into the art, and I see that everything is like a gravestone. Stand still, doesn't move, and it's keeping a present, and we have no present. We are becoming it and we are realizing that we are in the fourth dimension, in time. First dimension in art was a line, prehistoric time. Then you have two dimensions, the Egyptian, the Babylonian, the Greek. And then we have three dimensions with the Renaissance. They have done the volume and the perspective. And all the time the art was striving to have movement. But it's not only a question of movement. It's a question of another dimension. Time can never be repeated and can never be expected. So this is another notion of the unexpected in art, which every time could appear and disappear and all the time new. And I introduced for the first time in art the notion of the unexpected. That every time it could change in an unexpected way and every time and every place it's new and you can never see the artwork because the invisible is more present than the visible. And you see to the visible, the invisible, which is the cover, disappear, fuse, and this is the sense of my art that could be seen. So now all those who are watching this uh, conversation of ours will understand better your wonderful works all over the world. Thank you. Yaakov, what can we wish you for the future? Well, we need a lot of health, inspiration, and shalom. So we wish you all that, and much more than that.
תודה רבה, אין שנה טובה. Thank you very much.